I'm feeling solid in the alliance that I chose. I just, uh, I have a lot of questions about Amy. You know, I, I, even though I didn't go with her alliance, I didn't, I fought for her hard with Parvati and those guys. And I tried to convince them that Amy was trustworthy and maybe we should bring her along. Um, I didn't really fight. Well, actually, I did fight for Eliza when they wanted to vote her, vote her out. But I didn't really push the issue as far as inviting her into the alliance, which now is making me question maybe I should have because Amy gives me this lame excuse as to why she voted for me last night because um, she felt I wasn't being totally honest with her uh, when I voted said I was going to vote Yao Man and I had been planning on voting Yao Man. I'm just trying to keep the peace here, but I totally have reservations about Amy because like I said, I would have never written her name down and I didn't really do anything to her. You know, if you're telling me you don't have qualms about voting somebody out, well then what's the big deal that they get voted out? How do you feel betrayed that the same person you said you didn't care if they got voted out gets voted out? What is that to you so I think it's a little bit of bull mixed in Amy's story and I just know to watch her now Amy Jonathan and Yao Man may have had their own separate little alliance while she was so distraught that Yao Man was getting voted out she turned on Eliza I'm trying to fight for Eliza to stay in the game when uh, Ozzy and those guys are like maybe it should be Eliza and I'm like no it should be Yao Man Amy walks right up to the group and says well, Yao Man is stronger in challenges than Eliza. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I thought you had a, a, an a alliance with Eliza. So Amy lost about 25 cool points with me. I don't, you, mm, mm, mm The fact that Amy voted for me um, and the fact that her story really didn't add up is like a clear signal to me that I really can't trust her as much as I thought I could. I feel like I made the completely right decision when it comes to my position in this game um, and the antics that went on at Tribal and around camp here after Tribal just solidified it for me, just made me absolutely sure that I made the right decision. I mean, you know, I can understand you, you might feel like, oh, I thought we had an alliance, I thought you were with us and I could see you being hurt by that. But with the people that we're playing with, it's more so, damn, I thought I would be in the position of having the numbers and she screwed it up for me. That's all it is. And they try to put it on, um, oh, what's best for the team, blah, blah, blah. Well, what you think is best for the team and what this side thinks is best for the team is not adding up. So somebody's lying. Somebody is playing for themselves and what's best for them in a position with the numbers. But everybody's looking at me like, oh, how could you turn on me? Whatever. I'm playing for me. Just like everybody else is here. This time, for me, I had to make a move early. I didn't have an option. I had to pick sides. You know, in Panama, everything was basically planned out and I just had to float along until I found where I could fit in. Here it's like everything is on my shoulders, which way are you going to go and make sure you know the right way to go. And I feel like the, I turned left instead of going right and I feel like left was the right way for me. As soon as you get in your head in this game that I'm safe and everything is good and you know I can just relax, as soon as you let your guard down, you'll be voted out. So I always, oh, I never feel comfortable in this game. Um, and I'm never going to let my guard down, even with the alliance that I'm in. Be it, yeah, I trust them. But at the same time, I'm going to keep my eye on all of them.